and uh, then, then finally, just in terms of uh, you know how that would reflect on what you, what anyone would kind of sensibly do if it were more of a garage and had more garage doors. My personal concern was that um, when you line the facade with garages, that's what it's going to look like, and you know um, there is a intention here to care about the look of what people see because we can sort of say, well, it's a maintenance shed or it's just a, you know, an auto garage. Um, and that's fine if you take that typical model, auto garage and maintenance shed, and it's behind a building and it's hidden away or it's in a, you know, it's on East Francisco Boulevard and it's just blends in with the other industrial stuff. But as soon as you put that prototype, that type in a, a, a you know, beautiful area, what should be a, a more beautiful area, um, I think you need to decorate it and dress it up, and, and I think there would be a lot of people who uh, would react very negatively if they saw, you know, a well, torn down there now and a very much garage-looking <laughs> building was put up. So I think that the district and the board has to decide where does the community put the value in that space? Does it come along, does the site location basically move you to a point where you have to spend a little bit more money for the quality of the design there because of where it is. Um, or not, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not saying if driving as the architect, I'm just saying that's what you're seeing reflected. It's a little bit of a, you know, it's not trying to be a time hall, it's just trying to say like, this isn't a, this is not, you know, back of house uh, area that doesn't matter how it, how it looks. Um, so that, that's, that's where that's coming from. It could go a different way.